Hello guys, welcome to the presentation of Sports Genix. I am your host and presenter, Quentin Jordan, from Sports Genix, the massage therapist. So, who is Quentin? Quentin is a young, energetic guy with a passion for anything sport related. He is a qualified referee, qualified rugby coach. He also graduated from ETA with a high certificate in sport, recreation and fitness management. He has a passion for people and the love of sport. He is also a forever student, so that meaning basically he never stops learning, never stops experiencing new things um, and gathering new information, never stop growing. Quinton's even played rugby on several levels and he realized that the love for rugby doesn't need to stop as soon as he takes his jersey off. Um, he has got a few qualifications as such as the rugby referee um, level 3 qualification, RP coaching level 1, he has done his first aid course and he's a level 3 first aider, uh, he's done his coaching science, sports massage therapist uh, qualification and his taping course through uh, SVM Mare at NMU. Yeah, and the photos that uh, you will see on the screen now is uh, it's my family at my uncle's wedding and me at the Charlotte Touches event last year and our two dogs as well, Buddy, which is a long-legged Jack Russell, crossed with a Staffy and uh, Bella, who is a pug, only seven weeks old. So the question is, where do I operate from? I operate from anywhere <laughs> normally i would operate from the versatile building in circular drive but uh, now during this uh, time i am available mobile for coming to see you at your home for your comfortability and secureness i am willing to come to your place and do a massage there what is it that sports massage therapists actually do we have a special knowledge of sports injuries, physical activity, and also how massage can improve your movement and your activity. We also have a deeper developed knowledge about the sports injuries and how to handle them. In that way, we can assess in what massage technique to use when assessing the problem and when assessing the, the muscle that's in pain and sore. So concentrate on the sports rehab techniques that can help you further in your time in recovery. Therapy improves the circulation, improves range of movement, improves the recovery time to be shortened and help to prevent overtraining of the muscles. It helps and heals uh, your injuries, reduce the blood pressure and stress. Having a sports massage is not only for when you have already completed a race, training session or just have done a physical activity um, and you feel your body is sore or just sitting around the entire day uh, and you feel like your neck and lower back is sore. It can be done before the race or activity as well, meaning a pre-event massage. So there's two types of mass event massage massages, it's the pre-event and the post-event. The pre-event massage, depending on the time before the activity or the race, even if it's a day or two or on the day, I would not go as hard as what I would a week before your race or activity, just pre to prevent the muscle tension and tenderness so that you don't feel the pain when actually doing the activity. The post-massage is actually a very nice one. This is actually to help remove the metabolic waste to increase blood circulation and to calm the muscles as well. And this is normally done 30 to 72 hours after your activity or race. And this is not a hard session. This is a nice soft and just calming out the muscles and relaxing the muscles and getting that t uh, toxins and acids out of the muscle to help recovery time. I might find that sitting too long or lying too long, um, especially now not going to work and during this time, that it's a pain just to get up uh, and this might come from your calves, your hamstrings and your glutes. It works all the way up to your lower back which is in pain and you think okay no you have lower back problems. It's not your lower back normally. It's normally just either your glutes and your hamstrings that are tight and muscles are compensating for one another because in the hamstring you'll see there's three types of muscles and if one of them are not right or just too tight, the other two or just one of them might be compensating for both of them um, or the for the tight muscle and that can reflect onto gluteus maximus that will also compensate for the hamstring that is tight 
and because of that your hamstring and your glutes are in so much strain that you feel it in your lower back that your one side might might be tighter than your other side so meaning your right can be tighter than your left meaning you have your lower back either in your right or your left depending on how bad it is um, so the way to fix this is basically just to stretch out your hamstring and your gluteus muscles um, because they are all connected if you if you can see in the picture the hamstring is actually going up into at the back of the gluteus muscles and then it's also attached on the side of the leg where the RTB is connected. I'm just going to mention three exercises, three stretches um, for you guys to do every morning and every night, especially during this cold time. Um, it's This one is easy and it's so simple to do. All you need to do is sit on the floor with your one leg bent in and your other leg straightened out and reaching out to your toes, keeping it there for 10 seconds release and then going back the second and third time the second exercise is a bit similar but it also gives you mobility and flexibility in your hip um, where you lie on the ground flat back and lift your one leg and pull your toes with either a towel or a stretch band to your chest and keeping it there for 10 to 15 seconds and releasing it for five seconds and then going back for second and third time and then the last set quite easy as well it's simply just putting your one foot on your other knee on the opposite knee pulling your leg over to your chest and rolling back it's quite easy to do it's relaxing as well and it also helps to stretch the hips the glutes and then the hamstrings um, just same as the previous two keep it for 10 to 15 seconds leave it for 5 to 10 seconds and complete the second and the third set do this every morning, every night, if you feel pain in your lower back. It's three easy stretches to do and it will definitely help you.